Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Space Cam and uh, we're gonna keep moving along. Research. Split before bonding. Okay. Oh, this is fun. Hmm. Man, these really are getting a lot more challenging. So I have to split this hydrogen into two and then remove one bond from the oxygen. see here. First I want to grab our hydrogen and then I want to rotate that sucker so that it's going to line up in here. And then I want to Bond it when it goes through. That's gonna leave that guy there. I'm gonna grab this guy here. circle this guy back around. see what's actually happening here. All right, that's one problem. Oh, it doesn't actually need to grab the other.
interesting. I actually need to debomb the oxygen first. Well, that changes a lot. Let's see here. Sucker. So we've gotten somewhere.
Hmm. Oh. Huh. Well, it's, this one's tough because. viable atom they don't have it doesn't have to be the exact same shape so then I can just go here and I can drop the son of a bitch there and then output it pardon my French um, and then Should be good. Let's see here. Hey, I think we got it. little slow but symbols used is good so I don't know average is that it's not bad I'm actually not going for like optimal results I just kind of want to get through this game Ooh, production settling into the routine oh, there's a new story settling into the routine the planet was a wretched wasteland, but I was so absorbed in the work that I had hardly noticed. Space Chem's reactor technology took what I had learned at university and transformed the principles of science to create new chemicals and compounds. I was enraptured by the process, which effectively amounted to alchemy. Joel had sent me a message requesting my presence in his office. I begrudgingly left my station and headed over to the East Wing. When I entered, he was hunched over the terminal under the large window along the rear wall. What can I do for you? He asked over his shoulder as he typed. You asked me to come up. Right. Well, I see you're done with the research I gave you, so it's time to do some real design work. I must warn you, though, not all of the reactors are fully functioning. Danopt was not a planet with violent weather or extreme temperatures, so I found the prevalence of malfunctioning equipment unusual. Joel felt the same way. Sometimes when he came down to the lab, he spoke to Marianne, who could no better explain the problems, and cursed the equipment. Marianne will take you where you need to go, he nodded to the corner. My eyes widened as I realized that she had been in the room the entire time. She brushed past me without a glance, and I followed her into the hallway, keeping several paces behind. We've been having a lot of problems. Despite this, we still need to get things done. I hope you understand that, she said. We stopped in front of a glass door where Marianne swiped a card. The door glided open. You'll be working here in the control room. Joel has a similar system outfitted in his office. The chamber was larger than Joel's office and contained several control stations in front of a window that opened to an expanse of the landscape. Marianne settled in a chair at the, closest, at the console closest to the window. Which station should I use, I asked. That one over there. She pointed to the workstation closest to the door and farthest from her. I sat down at the terminal next to hers, booted the system, and pretended not to notice her huff of annoyance. Saving reactor designs. Copy reactors within a production assignment by holding the control key and dragging the reactor. Save the reactor design to reuse it on other assignments. To save a reactor design, choose Save to Toolbox from the reactor's right-click menu and enter a name for the design. After a design is saved, you may use it in any pipeline that allows that reactor type by dragging it from the saved reactor designs. To delete a design, click the red X button. And, uh, well, let's continue. 
All right, so we've got this uh, methane coming in here, and we've got to convert it into hydrogen and ethane. And it looks pretty simple. I think that we can, so it looks like we have an assembly reactor and disassembly reactor. Uh, and we can use up to three, which, so what we need to do is we need to split off the hydrogen here. That'll go off somewhere to get turned into this H2. And then these uh, two hydrocarbons left over get sent off here to get turned into ethane. So first thing we need to do is uh, split them up. So let's, uh, let's do that. All right, so let's see here. Let's make our output. Be that. And then this output will be that. All right. So this should be pretty easy. I kind of have an idea of how I can do this with one wall, though. All right, that should be pretty easy. That's not annoying at all. All right, so let's just test out this reactor. Yep, looks good to me. Now let's uh, work on our other two reactors. So this is an assembly reactor. Let's just stick that one there and let's just stick this one here. Let's make it easy. Yep, that's easy enough. This one might be a little more difficult, but probably not, actually. I think they're pretty much going to work the same. Ah, it 
is going to be a little bit more difficult. Although I still have an idea, and I still think I only need one Waldo to do it. Um, either. Hmm. I think part of the problem is I need some more room. I think I can fix this. Give myself a little bit more room by going here. This down. It's moving. down on. Now I can do this. Oh no, that's not going to work either. Actually, though, what would... No. Might work if I do this.
This should do it. Let's see. Yep, I think that does it. Symbols. I did everything with one Waldo. All right. And then uh, we're moving on, but we'll do that next time. If you enjoyed this uh, Let's Play, be sure to like and subscribe and click the bell icon if you're so inclined. Anyway, I'll see you next time.